full week of action at Cowboys camp and today was no different. Our Joe Reinagle sat down with Jerry Jones today to pick his brain a little on the upcoming season. Joe, take it away. Well, look who joined us here today, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, Jerry Jones. Mr. Jones, thanks for, uh, for stopping by. Well, I wouldn't have missed it. Uh, I'm, uh, I want to soak up every nuance to camp. And of course, <laughs> camp is having you here with uh, fans in San Antonio. And uh, uh, I've, I didn't realize how important camp and ex uh, sharing the experience is until we didn't have it. But the point is, that the Cowboys, to the extent that we do it safely, smart, the Cowboys want to be a leader that says, hey, let's be as much like business usual as we can. Let's get out here. Let's uh, get our team ready. Let's play football. Uh, this is the Dallas Cowboys. And consequently, we're one of only five teams in the NFL that has qualified to go away to camp. Others wanted to go mm -hmm. away to camp, but they didn't have the facilities and didn't have the setup that made everybody comfortable as to uh, the COVID. So when you, when you look at that, you, you bring up a good point. The NFL has, has uh, implied some fines and threatening forfeitures and, and, and those kind of things. Why are they taking those steps? Uh, it is in the best interest of having the games. You can have the best Cowboy team or the best New York Giant team there is, but if you don't have people to play, then you take a little of the pizzazz out of it to be trite. But now with vaccine, we know we can uh, uh, eliminate, really, for all practical purpose, any risk. And that's in the best interest of our season, in the best interest of our teams. When you look back, and this is the final question I'll ask you, uh, on this run with the Dallas Cowboys, did you ever imagine the things that would happen and the things that you'd be able to do with this football team and uh, and to make it the football team that it has become? I, I, no, I couldn't have. And I uh, certainly didn't see the picture of the game, the sport, and how it had evolved and the period of time in our country and the economics that were involved. No, I didn't see that. I wanted somehow, some way uh, to get involved and just be involved uh, uh, in the football part of it. And then as a club, we would do things and it worked. And we say, gosh, we can do that again. And it worked. Uh, like I so, told someone earlier today, uh, it's hard to retire yeah. when you haven't worked for the last <laughs> 30 years. All you've done is have fun. That's awesome. We're having fun too, and we appreciate Great. you letting us come along for the ride. Thank well, you very much. It's important that you're here because that means San Antonio is here. That is important. Mr. Jones, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. You can see the full interview on kens5.com. It's always great for him to give some love to San Antonio. I am not a Cowboys fan, but I am a football fan, so I'm just excited for the NFL to finally be here. I'm super excited. I actually like his quote where it says, you can't really retire if you haven't really worked and it also coincides with you're never working a day in your life if you love what you're doing. So I can understand where he's coming from. All right. Thank you, Eric. And good stuff, Joe and Vinny out there uh, from California. Thank you.